2024 is going to be a great year for standing up for drivers. If those gig apps are not going to show us love, then as drivers, we're not going to show them love either. In light of that, the first protest is on Valentine's Day. There are two things we're protesting for, driver safety and fair pay. The first topic is driver safety, and that's very important. I'm sure you want to be safe when you're out doing food delivery and rideshare. Do you remember Yi Lu? He's a rideshare driver out in Riverside in Los Angeles. He was mercilessly beaten by his would-be rider because he rightly refused to move a ton of his musical equipment in his car. And this doesn't only apply to rideshare. Food delivery drivers have been murdered In May of 2022, Andrew Satuvo out in Modesto here in California was murdered doing a DoorDash delivery. And in April 2023, I'm sure you remember this, it was a demonic murder out in Florida by a gang member, murdered an Uber Eats driver who was just trying to deliver the food and had just texted his wife that he was going to be home soon. And you know what? There are many more rideshare and food delivery drivers that have been murdered, robbed, and harmed in the course of trying to just make a living. This is really unacceptable, and it's up to these gig app companies to make sure that they know who the riders are, that they validated who we're delivering to, because driver safety is paramount. The second reason we're protesting is for fair pay. This is important. We're not out doing charity work. At a minimum, we should be compensated for our time and wear and tear on our vehicle. If pay gets to be a race to the bottom, at least we should be able to break in on our vehicle expenses, the maintenance, the insurance, the wear and tear, gas for our car. And at that point, we're really doing charity. I know I personally don't do food delivery for charity. I do it to earn some extra income. And it's really cruel that these different gig app companies try to pit us against each other and they have a competition between each other to see just how low they can lower rates before drivers refuse to take those orders. And this is completely within those gig app companies' control. They are choosing, they're deliberately deciding to pay us low wages. And it's just not sustainable. So these are just two of, I'm sure, many more important reasons to be out in protest. Now you can say, what can I do? What does it matter? Thomas Jefferson said, the government you elect is the government you deserve. So this also applies to food delivery and rideshare, all aspects of gig work. Yes, we may not make a big difference when we protest, but when we get a lot of media coverage, such as going on right now, it's going to make a difference. And if you don't vote, if you don't write your congressmen and senators and complain and tell them to do their job based on the Constitution, then we get what we deserve. As rideshare, as food delivery drivers, if we don't stand up for ourselves and protest, then we're just allowing those companies to do as they will, like they have been for many years. So let this year be the year that we stand up for ourselves even more than we have in the past, Every voice makes a difference. Now, it's understandable if you have to work and earn an income on that day, then so be it. But for most drivers, let's take a stand. So it doesn't really matter if the protest is going to turn things around instantly or if you think it's impossible. One step at a time, you can make your voices heard and stand up for yourselves and let the variety of many food and rideshare companies know that we are displeased and we want fair wages and we want to be safe when we're out earning a living. My name is Russ and I've been doing this part time for over five years now. Driver safety is such an important topic. Can you imagine doing rideshare? You already don't know who your customer is. How would you feel if Uber puts the word out that all you have to do is call a 1-800 number in a couple states, pay by phone, you don't even need the app, and you can be transported? How would you feel about that as the driver? Well, I happen to have made a video on this shocking topic, and you can watch that next.